Hello everyone, you're watching SK Live. Uh, I'm your host, Indranil Basu. Today we have former Indian footballer, uh, Gurmangi Singh with us. Uh, a very warm welcome to SK Live, Gurmangi. Good to see you. You're in Bangalore, I believe. Yes, uh, I'm in Bangalore and thank you so much, Indranil, uh, for having me here. It's it's my pleasure, you know. It's always fun to, to talk, yeah, yeah. fun to talk about football and, you know, just, yeah, football related. It's always fun. It's, it's a raining football tomorrow. 5.30, we have the Copa America final, Argentina yeah. versus Brazil. 12.30 yeah. at night, we have Italy and England. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, it's going to be a very football uh, week weekend. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I mean, I'm just looking forward to it. So, I'm already, you know, try to prepare myself, like, mentally and yeah. uh, try to, you know, program my schedule, like, in such a way that I can sleep, you know, this hour and... You know, just again ready for the next game again. No, it's going to be really exciting. I'm sure all the football fans will have an early dinner. We'll get to yes. bed very early. I'm sure about it. <laughs> yeah, I think exactly. I'm exactly. I'm going to do the same. Yeah, it's it's going to be really exciting. And 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 you know, you 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 seen football from a, you played for India. You've really done well. Uh, you know, you've uh, and I'll come to. Uh, the, the 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 Euro football final first uh, because uh, you worked with someone like Bob Houghton you know he was the coach and he was he was really instrumental in making you a good player also you know he was part of the team tell me something uh, what how was Houghton as India coach those days when you were playing for for India uh, I think many players from my generation uh, yeah. Houghton definitely plays. Uh, played a very important and instrumental part uh, for all of us to grow because I think uh, just to put in a very uh, short note uh, for him to you know for any any football manager to stay uh, for mm -hmm. more than six years in a job I think that's uh, that's I think uh, that's some uh, that's in a way a testament to to the good work that he uh, he he does so for him to be in India for more than six years and having that command having that uh, you know respect from the dressing room uh, that yeah. all of us each of us you know looking forward to him uh, you know and have that respect till the last from the first day to the to the to his last day of the job i think that itself shows that how good he was uh, as a man manager how he good uh, he was as a person and uh, mm -hmm. i think it will be you know, I, I can go on and talk because we spent so many years together. I played under him. I grown up under him. Uh, uh, whatever yes. that I had, yeah. I mean, personally, it's so much that I can talk about because I was I started off as a defensive midfielder during my playing days, and uh, he was the one who transformed me, uh, you know, to a defensive midfielder. And major part of my career, I had uh, was playing as a centre back, and whatever that I I I had uh, managed to earn. The, the name and the reputation, I think it's all, uh, I think, yeah, he should uh, take a lot of credit for that, for transforming me from a, a defensive midfield center back. So that is purely from my, and he gave me the debut uh, in a Nehru Cup uh, 2007 in, in Delhi for the senior team. So, I, I mean, for me, I think uh, he was one person who, who came into my life uh, in, in a phase where I was trying to establish myself and he, he definitely helped me transform to be a better person, to be a better player. But overall, if I have to talk for, for the, for the uh, in, in, I mean, I can speak on behalf of the dressing room as well. The, I, I, could, I could remember that the kind of uh, the respect, I, again, I'm repeating the respect, and, you know, he was just a, such a great person. I mean, not just a football manager, but we remember him as a great person who always fight for us, showing us the right path, fighting for the smallest of the things, fighting for the food, fighting for the hotels, you know, to provide us the best of facilities that, you know, the AFA could do for us. And I think we, we all had a great, great uh, years for about, I think, six years. Uh, those were like, we won many trophies as well, not just about, you know, having the relationship of the pitch, but on the pitch as well. We were, we played many finals and we won a few, couple of uh, Nehru Cup, we won the AFC Cup in 2009 that qualified, that gave us a, that gets a, the sport to, to play in the 2011 Asian Cup after I don't know how many years. So I think we had a lot of, uh, I feel goosebumps now, sorry. <laughs> just, I mean, just, a, yeah, we, we had a really, really amazing, uh, you know, very uh, yeah, successful, I would say, like many years together. He's, he's also from England, Outton, and, and England doing so well. You know, I mean, 
they have moved have they moved out you know hit and run football they used to play england in in early 70s 80s now in 90s you know now they have they have they are more into you know giving passes ball possession football they are attacking more so that is that is something really helped england over the years right what what what, what do you think how do you see it yeah i think uh, uh, i mean we should be surprised because over the years as we know the english premier league is supposed to be or even it's uh, always maintained that they are the best league in the world and uh, even in india we always hook up to every weekend we are like, always waiting for the you know which game is coming out for the uh, premier league and i think even the premier league itself shows so much of transformation and evolved uh, you know in the style of game so many foreign coaches managers coming in bringing in different style we talk about liverpool today with the uh, yogen cop we talk about pep coming we got morino coming bring all those top coaches bringing in different style the kind of football they want to play and today we see uh, we talk i mean uh, and it's not always it's not only about england but when pep got into man city people say like there's no way that in england where there's like lots of intensity and aggression and the game is always fast and you know tough and uh people always said that they, you know no way that uh, pep is going to you know play that all those tiki taka football that he uh, you know used to in 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 spain and in germany but uh, you know he proved everyone wrong and uh, so i think those little influence you know all the clubs i think they contributed to the national team the england national team as well so how the league it is in the last transformation last 10 years definitely i think it also reflected on the performance and the you know the style of play with the national team so having you know some of the i would talk about probably the england best player in this euro cup sterling uh, rain sterling you know he played for city for the last few years and the kind of football they play and uh, he's good he's strong he, he got the speed he can take one on one and he play in a very small space and uh, you know like you mentioned about those england who always predicted to be like you know hit and run uh, you you can't do that and uh, so i think it's also in some way a contribution of how the league is going on the kind of football that, that we get to see in the english premier league today that reflected on on the national team performance and the style of play as well absolutely so today uh, like it's it's tomorrow actually we have we have two sets of final one is the copa america and that is the euro so you you think which 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 is favorite uh, uh, tournament for the indians uh, do we relate more to the italy england match or do we relate more to the brazil and argentina game I can vouch it said because grown up and having so many friends and colleagues from West Bengal and Kolkata <laughs> I know I don't, <laughs> I don't think so that many of my friends are more than because we have this WhatsApp group nowadays and they were discussing more on you know sharing pictures about the copa and the players they like to see so exactly. one part of the you know uh, our country that's West Bengal I'm sure they're going to be more you know waiting to you know for the morning not not uh, of course they will see uh, they will definitely go to watch the uh, euro final but i think they are more inclined to uh, uh to, to the copa so but saying that i'm sure uh, i think as a football fan we all are going to watch both the final but i think in particular i'm why i'm bringing about bengal because i have seen i've grown up there and uh, Yes, I, I won't be surprised. I don't know during this COVID time again, uh, people will be the flags outside their house and uh, people wearing the jerseys. Uh, I, you know, you get to see. I'm sure that I, you, 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 you know how Bengal it is and Al Copa <laughs> and Brazil playing and Argentina in the <laughs> final. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a huge treat for them. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter to them whether Italy would win or England would win. They want. And 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 mostly Argentina fan, and they want Messi to hold the cup. That's the main objective. Am I right or wrong? Yes, yes, yes. That is what exactly is happening on the WhatsApp group now. Uh, but I was like, who cares? Like whoever wins. I mean, I just wanted to see a good football final match. You know, that is what I'm looking for. Uh, but yes, uh, seeing the whole uh, you know scenario in the last uh, you know 24 hours uh, when it comes to build up to the. copa final uh, i'm sure one part of our country which is kolkata in particular i think is going to be is going to have a good morning tomorrow <laughs> no, but we 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 relate to italy in a way that uh, you know 82 last time i mean not i mean yeah. they won in 2006 and then 82 yeah. around that time television came into uh, a, a, into india in a big way so that time yeah. italy people saw italy playing and becoming the world champion so they have sort of come connect also with italy yeah. 
as yeah. much as England also. I mean, there there a lot of people who want and and the 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 thing which is going is it going to stay at home or is going to go to Rome, Rome or Rome? <laughs> so that's a debate also. We can't ignore, of course, England because they rule us for more than two hundred years. So. I'm sure we cannot forget <laughs> whether we like them or not. We cannot uh, ignore them, right? Because, uh, yeah, I mean, just this is too political now. But uh, yeah, I mean, of course, English Premier League is the influence of the English Premier League in our country today. Uh, the football watching fans, uh, it's huge uh, because it's all over the English Premier League and La Liga. And uh, of course, now we get to see, uh, you know, when uh, Bundesliga, we get to see, uh, you know, because of the television, so many channels. Uh, uh, Broadcasting the different league, so it's easier for us to uh, get access to all this league. But still, I think Premier League still hold a lot uh, in the uh, football fans when it comes to yeah watching football in the weekends. But but I I think uh, between England and Italy, which is going to be our favorite team, Indians. I mean, you you know the pulse. You. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know that. I, I mean, of course, I, 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 I not because uh, uh, I want England to win for uh, definitely. It's just my personal, uh, you know, uh, opinion uh, because uh, not uh, because we every time England because the hive they always carry uh, with the with the team England uh, everywhere they go they always fail they never they have the nineteen sixty six was the last yeah. the world they won, right? And they, since then, since then, they have never, they have never done anything. Uh, you know, they have never been in the final. So, uh, again, you know, Wembley. I think they won the World Cup in the Wembley, if I'm not wrong. Uh, now the final is again in Wembley for the Euro Cup, and I'm sure that the the country is going. The you know, house situations are weak now, and it will be a packed stadium. And uh, for it will be a good, good, good for football in general uh, for England to win. Uh, nothing to do with the football, just in general uh, the kind of, of you know. I think England uh, it will be great to see England winning uh, because I'm sure again saying that Italy, for example, they lost two finals consecutive. Yeah, uh, I mean I think I don't know when was it 2000 and 2012. Uh, they lost two finals in Euro. I'm sure this is the third final, and I, I'm sure they will also come with this in mind that they don't want to be losing. Third consecutive finals in a row, uh, yeah. and uh, you know they also definitely want to make the best out of it. But uh, not losing 33, uh, you know, whatever unbeaten for last 33 uh, games, uh, and uh, with that high in confidence, and they have been probably one of the most uh, consistent. And uh, you know they have done. I mean, uh, they had a great, great uh, uh, tournament uh, with the Euro, uh, and I think football, because again, seeing the whole scenario. Uh, Italy is going to come as a favorite. That's what I'm mean. playing against the crowd, but still, uh, Italy is going to get there as as the favorite to win. It's the favorite to win, but uh, England, I'm sure, try to uh, you know try to get something out of this because it's their home. It's Wembley. I don't know how many thousand people will be there at the stadium today. Uh, to, I mean, it's, it's going to be, you know, make the best of it. absolutely play, but. I think there is little disturbance happening from your end, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, are you able to hear me? Are you able to hear me? I think. Uh, there's little internet uh, problem happening, but this is how it is. When you have to, uh, that, now it's all right. Now it's all right. Now it's all right, I think. Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry, I think it's my internet. It's I, all right. Sorry. It's all right. Uh, I can hear you now. This is, this is not within our control, so it's all right. But tell me something. You know, they've suffered so much during this pandemic, this country, this country called England. And it means yeah. a lot to them if they win. That is also yeah. that, 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 you know, I mean, I, I, I know stories about your uh, better half. She's a pilot. She went, uh, she, she flew, she took a plane and, and it got a lot of people who got stuck during COVID. We'll come to that story. But uh, it means <laughs> a lot to England also, right? I mean, uh, the way they have gone through in last one year or so. 
the amount of struggle yeah. that country has gone through. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, that's why I said uh, both the team has a lot to play for. Uh, but again, uh, yes. England, they are playing the final in Wembley. And, uh, you know, the situation, the, the situation of because of the COVID, you know, all around the world. And they have suffered as well a lot. And again, uh, it will be a treat. I think that's a that's a list. I think that as a football team, you know, can do uh, to the country. I think that will because, like I said, it's so much to play in a second final in the after the World Cup '66. They are in the final again, and the Wembley again. It's a repeating of their history. They could make a, this a repeat of their history. So I'm sure it's a lot to play, and I just hope. Uh, that's why I said from, from my uh, in, deep inside, I feel like you know England. I want England to win. Uh, but I think both the team has done so well so far, uh, and the, again, Italy will come to win as well <laughs> because they don't want so to be the country. Your, so, which is which is your favorite team in Euro and in Copa? I don't have a, a uh, you know, uh, in the I don't have such a, a favorite favorite. But uh, I like uh, England. Maybe that is an influence of the Premier League, maybe or influence of because uh, England, Spain. I get to see, you know, their players week in and out. Uh, it's easy to relate to them. So I, I, I try to watch as much game as possible because it's my job. Uh, but I think these two countries, uh, because we get to see their league all the time. Uh, for I mean, at least for the last two decades, it's always there, the La Liga and Premier League. So, uh, yeah, it's easy to connect with them. It's easy to know that I know almost all their players. So, yeah, that way, uh, you know, uh, I think England and Spain... Uh, Maybe some kind of I have some some little soft honor for both these countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I, are you surprised that uh, you have the gigantic uh, teams like France, uh, Germany, uh, Portugal, the, the defending champions, Belgium? They showed a lot of uh, lot of energy, a lot of uh, you know willpower to win matches. They also lost out and and couldn't you know get into the last four. Uh, are you surprised uh, that those things happened? Uh, I was expecting more from France because the line of the head, uh, the France lineup. Yeah. If you see, if you go by the uh, paper, if you see the France lineup, I felt mm -hmm. uh, you know because they are the defending champions and the uh, they you know they have done so well and I just thought they will uh, they should be somewhere they should be should be in semi final at least. Uh, but but again, the way how they played, uh, you know, th th they just started off what like you know winning against Germany. Then I think they have a couple of draws. Then you know uh, Switzerland, uh, you know uh, they lost to they lost to Switzerland on penalties. Uh, so three draws, one win. And if you have to just go by the numbers and on the you know the win and the lose, uh, then I think they have not done or you know live up to the expectation uh, uh, from the football fans. Uh, so, and again, we have to just go by a little bit. I don't want to get into too much of details, but if you have to see the performance as well, because the lineup we see, there's a star lineup they had. Mm. And the, uh, but I think some of, some of the, you know, it, it, it doesn't look like a, look, look like a team that they, they, they uh, you know, it doesn't, I, I feel like something's missing in the dressing room. It seems, seems like, uh, of course, they always, when you play a football match, you always go out and to play, uh, to, to win a football match. But when we see the France this time, it doesn't look like a, like a team team that is going to be winning a lot of games. Seems like somewhere something is missing, and you know. So that is what I felt with the France. No doubt, the one of the best squad they had this Euro, but uh, didn't live up to the expectations. So no surprise with the performance. I mean, I'm not an expert. I'm not a quote, no pundit. Do the details, but yes, uh, they didn't live up to the expectation. But uh, I, when it comes to Belgium, with the kind of generation, because they are golden generation. We talk. About De Bruyne, because, you know, Lukaku. So, Hajar, these are the generations, uh, some of the best individuals in the world football today. And they are already touching 30. They're going to be 29, they're going to be 30 to 31. So, people expected for all these last few years that Belgium should be, you know, at least try to, you know, try to be right up there and win, uh, win a winning cup. But this didn't happen. So, sometimes having the best, like, like we say in football, there's nothing right and wrong. And having the best team is not guaranteed for you to win a football match or even Absolutely. even if you had the best yeah even you have the best preparation maybe you had the best team you had the best preparation everything was going your way but it doesn't guarantee you again uh, to win a football match that's why i think football is a funny game and on a given day 
a lot of things can happen. So even tomorrow, again, if I like England to win, you never know. England might just don't do it. Just don't, just don't live yeah. up to the expectation yeah. again. And, you know, so that, that's, that's, that's the best about football, I guess. I mean, the, the way it happened with Spain, the way they played <laughs> against Italy in the semis. Yeah. And, and the way yeah. they, things change. And luck, luck is also a factor. I'm sure about it. But do you think, is, is it the substitution rule post-COVID, mm -hmm. the new rule has come? That has also contributed to uh, these uh, teams, uh, you know, I mean, to, to have a more level playing field for all the teams. It, actually, no one is a clear favourite. Yeah, I, I think uh, I have not really studied and read on these uh, uh, five substitutions, but... Uh, I uh, honestly now we have even we have tried as well. I mean Bangalore now. I'm I'm with the Bangalore United. We had our early qualifiers yes. and even in the you know during the COVID last season last campaign that uh, we I, I don't know for for me as a as a now I'm already got into I already put my uh, you know foot into the coaching and as a as a as a one as a staff uh, I I. I I think uh, your your uh, thing is breaking. I mean, are you able to hear me? Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. You were saying about uh, the substitution rule. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what I is the substitution I think uh, it's Am I missing? breaking. Yeah, you can speak. It's yeah, breaking... yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. All right now. Okay. Now all I'm saying is, uh, having the options of uh, more number of substitution. If I have to talk uh, from my experience as a coach, uh, it 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 uh, it gives me more options, and I it, I like it. I like it because uh, sometimes what happens is, uh, you know, the game the intensity has grown so much nowadays, and uh, you know there's a lot. Uh, the intensity has grown. The, you know, the game is more faster today, and it takes a lot of physical, uh, you know, grilling through it. And sometimes uh, because of maybe the, not just the game tactical, but physically, we feel like, okay, you know, uh, then we need more fresh like coming in. So having this more number of substitution, uh, I will definitely go for it. Going forward, whether it's a post-COVID, even situation, even things get normal, uh, I, would, I would like to, you know, maintain it or even continue with this, uh, you know, more number of substitutions. Absolutely. And, and we are really excited about uh, what substitution they make tomorrow, you know, on the the two teams in the Euro final, we are very excited. I mean, people who uh, don't follow football, they will be forced to watch tomorrow because it's such a big day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, it's, it's two continents, you know, the superpowers are, are playing yeah. in two different continents. It's a, it's a lovely, lovely, it's a, it's a raining football tomorrow, as, as I said earlier. But before I let you go, uh, uh, you know, I mean, your better half, your wife, was was instrumental in, in flying out of the country and getting a lot of people who got stuck during the pandemic. Can you just tell me a little bit about what what her her uh, her effort? You know, she was she was brilliant. I mean, these are the examples which hardly come out in, in yeah. media. Yeah. Can you just tell us? I mean, what exactly? How was the? I mean, what what did she exactly? She obviously she's a pilot, but uh, can you just tell us the story? Uh, well, I think this was uh, uh, during the uh, first wave uh, yeah. when the government announced and came up with the plan about the uh, Bande Bharat. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, we were, I, I, I mean, she was more than happy to do the job. I mean, and I was, I was a little worried and concerned uh, with the, because nobody knows how things are going to follow up. And this was, I'm talking about last year when she started yeah. uh, flying, going out to many uh, new destinations where even India doesn't have uh, the schedule, you know, connectivity, like going to, say, Nairobi, going to Izi, India doesn't fly those places, for example, and not just many places that, you know, she flown uh, last year. 
And the, uh, I was concerned as a, I think as a, as a better half, uh, you know, always worried about, uh, you know, how things are going to be. Uh, but I was, but again, eventually when I look back, even today, she's con she continue flying. And when I look back, yeah, I feel, I feel really proud. I think, uh, I, I feel yes, proud. Yes. Uh, yeah, I feel proud. And because she's, she's doing her, that's the least that she could do. Uh, this was during the initial uh, COVID situation and a lot of Indians, our citizens were stranded in different parts of the world. And uh, the yeah. government took the decision. That was a prep decision from the government uh, to to let you know India started you know take off the initiative you know to plan and fly and you know get the people back to the country. So I think she was very much you know part of it. And uh, yeah, again, just I'm it's in the family, and I'm I'm really proud of it. And that's why we talk. At least I play football in representing my country. I think that's the proudest moment that I can I can <laughs> as a football player can have. Yeah. So I'm really proud. Of Proud of her, really. I mean, uh, for a lady, and she, she's clearly a brave heart. I mean, there, there's no two ways about it. But you know, Gurmangi, you're you're set right example on the field. Even now, also as a coach of uh, Bangalore uh, United, you've been doing an excellent job with the team in the I League, yeah. and I'm sure you're going to go miles ahead with the team, with your culture, with your ethics. You've been yeah. a very, very big, big example uh, for people in Imphal, in, in Manipur, and. Uh, and and in and the entire country. So I mean, uh, on SK Live, we're sharing your views. We'll keep our finger, fingers crossed for a great, great uh, game of football, which is going to happen tomorrow. Thanks a lot for coming on SK Live. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Thank you.